Video games can leave a lasting impression. I think back to winning against my brother in Mario Kart for the first time, or yelling with my friends during a game of Smash Brothers. And I also think about how games can resonate with you because of something you might have gone through. Like the grief of losing a loved one in Greece, navigating a crazy relationship, or making a tough decision like you do in The Last of Us. And in some cases, a game might give you a new perspective. And for me, that game was Journey. Looking back through some old developer interviews, it seems like the way I felt playing was exactly what they were going for. We start to realize game innovation can actually be about emotion rather than just game mechanics or game simulation technology innovation. You can innovate on what game makes you feel. We want to make a game that makes you feel differently. A game that makes you feel differently. A game that focuses on emotional connection connection between people. Journey found an incredible way to zero in on these feelings, not necessarily by making something new, but by taking away what we were used to. It's a multiplayer game with no lobbies, no goofy online screen names, no friend invites, and no text or voice chat. The clutter and the distractions are removed, and all the noise begins to fade. You're left with quiet and the ability to focus. The ability to focus on the person in front of you. When someone crossed my path, there was no way to feel bias, no power, no competition, just a feeling of curiosity and a subtle way to communicate. Simplifying these interactions cleared the way for me to have feelings of my own. Nobody telling me where to go, who to care about, or having to watch someone else feel emotional. I was free to feel and communicate for myself. And it really worked. I felt myself naturally trying to fill in the gaps, wondering what they might be saying or what they're hearing from me. I felt connected. As the game unfolded, this connection would only grow stronger. Very quickly, a stranger turned into a partner. We seemed to know what each other was saying and a personality began to form. And I started to care. If I came across some kind of power-up, I'd do my best to get their attention so that they could get it too. I'd stick close as we delved into the darkness, or I'd huddle side by side to get warm in the cold. I wanted to help, and helping felt good. To me, the, the most important thing is that a game resonate with someone, that it be meaningful. What I always look for in an experience is did it move me? Did it make me feel something new and interesting? Honestly, I had never thought about games like that. I would never cared to think about the philosophy, the design, or the people putting so much thought and work into something enjoyable. If a game was fun, that's awesome. But the idea of being moved felt like some art term used by rich people. But what came next really flipped a switch. I was completely captivated. I had been made to care, to then be put in a position filled with worry, feeling powerless, at a low that almost made me cry, to then be thrust into an ending? You'll just have to see for yourself. And then it hit me. Newfound passion and curiosity. My perspective of video games had shifted. I wanted to know what this was, how it was made, I started diving down rabbit holes on game design, writing, and indie developers. Then I learned about the PAX Expo, meeting developers and seeing firsthand just how badly they wanted to make something enjoyable. The more I learned, the more I cared about how the games I played made me feel, even more than the price or how long it was. Journey showed me that games can be more than just entertainment and the kind of impact they can have on a person. It really inspired me. It inspired me to learn new things and to start being creative, to care, and hopefully one day to make an impact of my own. Thank you so much for watching. If you've never played Journey, I highly recommend trying it out on Steam. I replayed it for the video and there were still plenty of people online to have a great experience. And if you have any memories with gaming that you'd like to share, please leave them below in the comments.